Alrighty, uh, Happy New Year and all that. It's nearly the end of January. I've not done a video in an extremely long, long time. Um, not given up Blitz. I've actually played a lot of Blitz. Been uh, talking about bit Blitz, just been playing it. And, you know, videos take a while to, to put together. So it just depends whether I can be bothered in any given day or month and, and this and that. But anyhow, the topic of the video as we watch Commander Smith and I drive the VK2801 in game one and the second game is the T-34 in one game uh, with just me in an encounter battle driving around. Or it might have been a range game. Whichever. <clears throat> is the Blitz, uh, not just in the last release, which obviously saw sort of major buffs of things like the WZ and the J Panther and the Tiger 1 and before that obviously we had the Tiger 2 buff, I mean you know the ridiculously strong front plate on that, um, you've got buffs on the VK6601H, so you know that's now well odd and then on top you've, you've just got some things that were were always you know, difficult to pen things like smashers, things like IS6s, things like IS5s. And, you know, it's very easy to despair if, if you like to drive light tanks. And actually, um, even medium tanks now, because you can get you can get hunted down by uh, Tiger 1s and stuff like that, because they're, they're extremely fast moving. And, you know, the meta of the game is headed in that direction, rightly or wrongly. Um, so temptation becomes to heavy up, right? Just you know, get in a well-armed tank and um, you drive your well-armed tank with its very, very strong armor and that other well-armed tanks, and and just you know, slog them out and do all that and load up APCR because you, you can't get through the front of the other well-armed tank in front of you and, and just spank a load of Pramo and do all of that. <clears> the <throat> top of this video is actually. Look, don't despair, because the fundamentals of driving lights and mediums are exactly the same as they ever were. You know, you're not... It doesn't matter how much armour they want to put on the front of a heavy tank. Um, and to an extent, even, even the side of a heavy tank. The fundamentals of driving lights and meds. If you look at this VK, which is well hard. It's coming at me because he's well hard. Is you've got to get round the back of them and shoot them in the sides and butts and that is just patience and situational awareness and, and skill and you know using your superior mobility on the battlefield to make the buggers turn and traverse and this VK, I don't want to be in this VK, it's, yes it's got a super great armour profile but not in the arse it doesn't you just drive round them there's another one and so it goes and you've got you know things like smashes to deal with well to be honest with you that the, they are a problem I mean, you know, my thoughts on the smasher are, are well known but they've still got to hit you you know what I mean but they've still got to tap you one and if, you, if you're moving fast it's an extremely hard for them to hit you on the move <clears throat> and I've been watching a lot of light and medium play and the fact that people are getting smashed and killed and, and done in and wrecked is because they're not driving like the medium tanks as they should be driven. You know, the amount of times I see one of these things, there you go, bang, and I'm dead. As I Just as I was saying, you know, get round them, don't let them look at you, blah, 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 blah. But I've kind of run my game and I've, I've done about 3K at tier 6 in a, in a VK, so that's that and you know I do have an extremely capable platoon mate with two one shots left on the map so whilst he deals with those buggers I will um, continue to go on. So the kind of problem I've, I've been seeing in game with people driving lights and meds so you know, things like the VK, things like the T-34 and 1, definitely the Walker Bulldog which by the way I think is a great tank. Um, not one shred of armour. Things like the AMX CDC, um, any form of T-54, things like that. People just sitting out and either doing one of two things, um, sitting behind the heavies, 
and not spotting or pushing the map or at least going to midpoint to see where the enemy are and basically doing doing nothing which is bad I think you shouldn't be doing that in a, in a light tank you ought to be getting out there and spotting for the team or the second alternative is getting out there and, and, and indeed spotting the entire red team but, but just getting shot by seven tanks and being gone um, in the first 30 seconds of the game you know, which is just ridiculous. And then probably complaining in chat that they weren't supported or that um, some tank or another's OP or yada, 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 which misses the point. So that's either a drive through the middle of the red team, get absolutely wrecked and, and then rant in chat, or it's a go up to a spotting point on a map, spotting the red team, and then just sitting there with no real idea what to do whilst the red team just basically all turn around drive up to wherever the hell the tank is and, and wipe it out so I think all this um, crap um, and armor buffs and yada 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 is, is totally overstated I don't think tier 7's broken now I, I, I don't think tier 8 you know if you play tier 8 ratings or whatever you don't have to play a heavy tank I mean everyone does I've, I've played games in tier 8 ratings where everything's a, a heavy tank and I'm the only bugger in a CDC or whatever but it, it's not necessary to um, heavy up and by the way just because things have got armor buffs doesn't mean that you're invincible because I've seen a lot of that going on as well you know people trucking forwards in uh a big heavy tank and, and just thinking that they're impenetrable you know I've seen that a lot from Tiger 2's and stuff like that and you just drive around the side of them and they're they're all gone so second game whilst I just sort this out hang on where's the Fleming Normandy game yeah there we go second game is a T-34 and one game and again look at the opposition so we've got a low a Tiger 2 a Black Prince a gravy digger, an IS. Okay, I'll let the uh, the jig jack panzer thing off and and, and the bis. But, but this is exactly what I was talking about. You know, this is as I was saying at the tier eight, seven stroke eight kind of ratings game. And this is what I'm seeing in ratings um, every single game, like every single game. Like I said, I've I've, I've played lights and meds and everyone else is just driving around in in heavy tanks but if you sort of turn that frown upside down as they say you can realize the opportunities you can get by driving a light or indeed even in some cases a quick medium tank well because everyone else is just going to lumber around the battlefield in their well odd tanks and you could drive around the buggers and shoot them in the arse or in the side and that's the the whole bloody thing and you'll see this in a bit I mean there's a, been a proliferation of gravy diggers by the way I've seen loads of them going around now they were back on sale weren't they and also that WZ thing you know like the glacial whatever the hell it is there's loads of them because they're on sale because of the Chinese event thing awful gun on it by the way I, I can't imagine why anyone would buy it but that's the different thing so here we go, typically enough we've got a Lurther and we've got a Gravy Digger basically just sat there capping, well fair enough I mean something like a Grave Digger it's only going to do damage to you or a substantial amount of damage if you sit in front of it so simple enough don't sit in front of it but, you know something like a, a Lurther it's only going to give you real issues if you're trying to pen it through the front I mean look how red that is in my tank but I mean I can just drive around these guys and shoot them in the butt, it doesn't make any difference. I'm pretty much under the gun on this damn thing, there you go, butt shot, next, I can turn around, the grave digger's emptying his load into whatever the hell is emptying his load into, he's cleared just before I can mop him up, so that's done, and then I can do crazy YOLO-y bad percentage plays things like drive down the beach in Normandy, which you only do if you're a complete noob or you think you're some sort of um, blitz visionary like me. That, that was sarcasm by the way boys and girls, I certainly am not a blitz 
rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so what have we got left? Yeah, oh, we've got an IS. We've got a Black Prince. We've got a Tiger II. They're all well hard, right? They've all had their nice armor buffs and they're all, you know, super, super amazing good tanks and if, if I'm driving one in ratings I'm going to win like tons of games and yada 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 and who the hell would drive a tier 7 light tank in ratings they've got to be out of their minds right well no <laughs> there you go Tiger 2 look at that side the turret no worries at all looking at me too slow past that watch the shot go past yep not hitting me on the move and there's the firefly He's full elf. I'm not going to do him. I'm going to do the Black Prince. Because I know basically that even though that thing's got amazing armor and DPM, there's absolutely no way he's getting anywhere close to me. He's gone. And you've got the IS to look at. You know, it's another well hard tank. The, the IS, I feel, um, I think has just lost connection. So I'm just going to have a look at it. I did have a suspicion that the um, he hadn't moved a lot so I just thought I'd approach with a bit of caution and have a look and lo and behold there it is. Could have just sat there and shot the tracks off by the way but I, I just didn't in the mood to get the game done so I, I couldn't be asked. so I just one in him. Gone and now we've just got the Firefly left. So anyway in summary um, if, if you watch these sort of two games, uh, be them at tier 6, be them at tier 7 slash 8. Um, I don't think these tiers have been broken by the armor buffs to the, to the heavy tanks and even in some cases to tank destroyers. I just think the game's exactly as it always was, you've just got to be better and the solution is not to heavy up and the solution is not to just load up your um, light or medium tank with nothing but a PCR because that's the only way you can frontally get through a strong heavy that that that's really not not the thing the, the thing is to just be better you know just drive the type of tank better get round things hit side and butts no need to spank pramo no need to join the party and just drive really heavy tanks just just because they're you're told they're OP and, you know, just do not despair with your light and medium tanking. It's really fine. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you.